Dancing Feather, the Boston pilot schooner. And uh, in episode 10, we uh, started on the standing rigging. We put up the uh, main mast uh, braces, stays. And now uh, we're going to probably start off with uh, doing the rat lines. I've uh, cut the length and rounded over the ends of uh, some bamboo dowels to form the shear poles. And those will go on just before we start tying the rat lines. We have the uh, shear poles tied in place and I've just tied the first of the rat lines. <clears throat> so uh, I guess I'll make an attempt here to uh, try to show how to tie the rat lines. Well, once again, uh, Try not to let my fingers get in the way, but we'll try to tie a rat line here and see if that makes any sense. My new electrical connectors are here, and uh, I think they're going to be helpful. So the first thing I want to do is to take this line and put it over the top of the rat line going across and then wants to be on this side. And come back through here. This is what's known as a clove hitch. I don't know if I left enough on this side to make it easy for myself, but we'll try it. top of the line, across under here. Yeah, this is going to be tough with that. I didn't leave enough line. Almost got it that time. Well, let's see if we can't loosen this up, give ourselves some more. Uh, chance to start the whole thing over again. But you guys are really impressed with this.
This time I'll make sure I leave myself enough line on that side. That looks a little better. Looks a little better. Now oh, I've made a quarter inch gauge so that we can set the nuts a quarter of an inch apart. It was really easy, right? <laughs> Gluing the knots here so they can't be slipping around. And that's tying the rat lines. Just finished tying all the rat lines on the uh, port side of the main mast. And we're now beginning to uh, tie them on the uh, port side foremast. Only three more sets to do. The uh, rat lines are finished. So now we'll move on to uh, some of the stays. I just installed the uh, forestay and the forestay comes up around the top of the foremast and then runs down through the bees and then back to the stem. Well, we've uh, we've got the uh, four stay, four uh, top mast stay in place. We've got the flying jib stay. We've got the jib stay. We got the uh, four mast stay, and then we have the stays between the two uh, masts here. And uh, I think that's just about it for the standing rigging. It's pretty simple. Uh, Simple boat to, uh, to rig. All the uh, work going over the martingale. So next uh, we're going to start working on the spars and uh, the running rigging. We're uh, going to be working on the uh, yards next. We've got the main boom and the fore boom. Then we've got the gaffs. So basically four pieces of dowel that need to be tapered. And then we need to uh, fabricate yokes to go on the ends of those so that they can attach to the mast. And there's some iron bands and things that need to be put on them. So uh, that's what we'll work on next. I've now cut uh, dowels for the uh, yards and these now all have to be tapered shaped and uh, have the yokes fashioned on the end of them. Getting ready to start to taper the yards I put a, uh, a mark at the center line of each one so that they can know how far to feed it into the jaws. That will allow me to taper each end of it. So now we're going to get a block of sandpaper and we're going to put the lathe on.
finer sandpaper. This is a 400 grit. And uh, as you can see, we've, uh, maybe you can't see it, there we go. We've got a taper and a radius on the end of it. This is the uh, four gaff, and uh, we've got the yoke on it. And I've got a coat of uh, rub on poly, waiting for that to dry. And then we're going to be putting the iron bands and uh, some eye, eye bolts or eye uh, yeah, eyes onto it. And over here, started laying the ones out for the uh, main gaff and the four boom. And over here, we've got the main boom that we're working on gluing these on for the yokes. So, all of these things have uh, iron hoops on them and uh, eyes that will be holding blocks. So we got a bit of work to do on them, but not too bad. At this point, uh, all four spars have been fabricated and have one coat of uh, white bond poly. So uh, next we'll start looking at putting the iron bands on. I had uh, some critique on the uh, anchor chain and uh, this is the anchor chain that I found at Michael's, part of a necklace. And I have to admit, it uh, does not look as authentic as what I was able to find. When I went back and looked at the A.J. Fisher catalog, they had a chain of many different sizes. And I think I would have gone for just a, maybe a little larger chain than this if I'd been able to actually see it. But the problem with buying online or out of a catalog is that you you don't actually get to look at it and feel it and touch it. So, uh, but I, I have to agree. I think this is more authentic looking than uh, than the jewelry chain. Just uh, finishing the uh, rigging on the main mast. Here's the main gaff, and then uh, the main boom. And the main boom is uh, the main sheet. It's tied off to a bollard. So now we have uh, the running rigging to do on the uh, foremast and on the uh, jibs. I've been working on the rigging and uh, got the uh, gaff and the boom hanging on the main mast. And uh, we're just now rigging the gaff on the foremast. You can see I'm using clothespins all over the place here. We're holding the uh, sail rings up out of the way because I'm getting ready to uh, hang the uh, boom onto the uh, foremast. And uh, this ring, the sail the rings would sit on top of it in my, in my way. The uh, boom will be sitting on the, uh, on the rest on the uh, mast. <coughs> And these are a couple of clamps of a different kinds that I use to hold lines. We've got a, uh, a block that uh, I've tied off to the uh, sheet horse. And that's going to be uh, like the one we have here at the stern. It's going to be the uh, main sh the sheet for the uh, boom. Pull it in boards or out. So that's where we are at the moment. At the point where uh, I'm 
most of the rigging is done, a running and standing rigging. The only thing that needs to be done at this point is I need to make uh, coils of rope to go over the blind pins where the lines are tied. And we have to put in the, uh, the hoist that will lift the, uh, the rowboats off the deck, on and off the deck. <clears throat> so uh, once we get those done, then the rigging will be done. We also have to now make a set of boats. Well, I don't have the drawings for that. They're upside down over here. Uh, I have to make a set of rowboats to go on the deck. So that'll be uh, probably the next chore. I think I'll end the, uh, this session. <clears throat> but I want to get a picture of these little tack hooks that I made uh, using the, uh, the 26 gauge black copper wire. Uh, they're wrapped around the blocks and they uh, hook into the eyes. End of session 11.